Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca and this is DestinationFrance.net, your one-stop shop for everything needed to plan your next trip to France. Today is a lazy Saturday. I'm at home baking bread. I wanted to take the opportunity to show you one of my favorite things in the kitchen and at home that kind of keeps the French spark alive in between trips. I'm going to show, share with you my Le Creuset collection. Le Creuset is a heritage company. I think it's almost 100 years old. Uh, started in northern France and it's known worldwide, um, especially for its enamel pans, its cast iron, and one thing that I love the most, the colors. It just brings a pop of color or it can be really subdued and classic, but um, when you see these pieces out in the store or on TV or something like that, you know it's Le Creuset. It's very um, easy to spot. There's a lot of recognition of the brand worldwide. I think a lot of people um, approach picking pieces of Le Creuset because of the price and because of all the colors. They start collect their collection slowly and concentrate on certain colors or certain tones. With me, I've just kind of jumped feet first. Um, in, in the last couple of years, you'll see as I go through each piece, I'll show you, um, I'll tell you where I got them. And you'll see that I'm kind of indiscriminate where I get them from. And I love the rainbow of colors that they offer. And that's actually something that I've woven into my home decor um, just to kind of take advantage of the colors and show off the collection because I think it's it's fun to show. We're going to get started. Um, before we start going individually, let me insert a clip of what I've done in my dining room. Our hutch in our dining room to hold our like fancy plates and, and silverware and glasses. And so above it, I'll show you kind of what I've done with some pieces of Le Creuset. Now let's get into the collection and I'll show you every piece that I have that I can get my hands on right now. We recently moved and um, there are three pieces at least that I'm missing. Um, I'm missing a purple water pitcher that I never actually got to use but I really was planning to use it on the hutch for the purple. Um, I don't know where that went. It would be a beautiful planter. It would be a beautiful functional picture as well. I'm also missing um, a tea towel, but I know that I never opened it. It's in its still in its packaging. It was from a Paris collection they had a couple years ago. So um, I'm missing that. And then I'm missing a white color uh, pie bird, which was a free gift with purchase one year when I was buying something. It was, I think it was for Black Friday and um, it's still in its little box, but before I had seen that as a free gift of purchase, I didn't even know what a pie bird was, so it was kind of fun to learn. Um, and I've obviously never used it, but I do like to bake pies, um, so you never know. It's also a nice little figural item. But I figured let's start with the colors of the rainbow. So I've got two in a red color to show you. And um, like I said, I will tell you if I know the color name, and I'll tell you how it came into my collection and where I bought it from or received it from and if I remember how much about approximately how much I paid for it so you can kind of see so the first one I want to show you is this big monster classic skillet so it's the Le Creuset cast iron skillet and their process gives it a finish there's some kind of coating over top so that it's easier to take care of um, and it, it doesn't require all of the maintenance like the cast iron does it's, I think it's kind of like a hybrid. It's definitely not as low maintenance as a nonstick pan or a different kind of pan, but it doesn't need like the seasoning and the special cleaning and stuff like that. So um, it's huge. It's heavy. Um, every time I pick this up, I feel like um, Rapunzel and Tangled where she's wielding a skillet. Um, it's so useful. I love it so much. It's really good at retaining heat. I will say sometimes, I think this handle is one of the better ones 
but sometimes, you know, these handles are good at staying cool because they're far away from the flame, but these little helper handles can get hot. And because these pans are so heavy, they're really necessary. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Don't, you know, be careful and you, you get used to it as you use them mostly. Um, so this is, if I turn it around, this is one of the cast iron pieces that is made in France. If you can see that, and it's the size 30. This color, I believe, is cerise. Cerise. Um, and it's red with the gradient. And it's uh, cerise actually means cherry in French. So it's a cherry red color. I use this so much. I actually inherited this from a family member, so I didn't pay for it. But it kind of started me on my jump into the pool with Le Creuset. Um, I had had some pieces before, but never one that I could use every day or a lot, I would say. Um, and so when I started using this and trying to figure out the cast iron, that kind of got me intrigued. And just having the, the durable piece like in your collection, then you start to realize like, okay, what people are saying is real. Um, these really are like lifetime pieces. So there is piece number one, my skillet. That was free to me. I love the red and I know that red is a really popular kitchen accent color in the United States as well. So here's my second piece, also in the same color. So you can kind of see um, the consistency. You can also kind of see what it looks like when we get um, oxid oxidation and some staining on it, but it really doesn't bother me because I know how much I use them and I know they're well loved. But this is a very small baking dish. This is one of the ceramic, uh, the coated ceramic pieces. Um, so it's not cast iron and it doesn't say anything on the back. Um, I assume this kind of indicates what it is, but I would as I would imagine these are made in China. Um, I have a good number of these baking dishes and they're generally made in China when they're not the cast iron. Um, yeah, this is really helpful for, sometimes I'll be baking something and um, I need to put something small in a separate dish. It's kind of weird, but like if I'm making um, like one piece of fish or um, if I wanna put something in the oven when something else is in there, kind of a single thing. I, that's what I use it for mostly. It would be okay for um, a small serving of a baked item too, like a small thing of brownies or cookie dough or something like that. But um, I don't use it a ton. I don't, um, but it's easy to clean. The ceramic coating is really easy to clean. But it does get some staining and I know it's clean so that staining doesn't really bother me. So next we're gonna move on to orange, the color orange. And for those of you who don't know, um, Le Creuset names the color orange in its collection flame based on the bright orange flame that's uh, that you see when you're casting iron. So I have this one skillet in the color flame. This is a cast iron piece um, because it's the cast iron, it does have a coating. This is probably one of my most used pieces, not necessarily by me, but just in general, it's been well loved. Um, there's definitely scratches to that coating. Um, it's been a long time since I've used this one, so I don't recall like how good it is with the nonstick coating. Um, I went a little wild after I got that red one I just showed and I bought um, this and uh, another one you'll see. And I thought this is what I wanted to. I wanted to kind of convert all my cooking to cast iron. I would figure out how it works and how I could make it work for me. Um, I'm not sure if it's because the pieces I got were older, but it was just, it's hard for me to figure out my recipes on a cast iron skillet. Like I was using a lot of oil and then I would have to um, wait until everything was super cool down so that I could clean it. And it just never felt like what I was used to cooking. I think there's a pro there's probably um, a disservice we do to ourselves when we grow up using nonstick pans. like we're used to in America. It's just a, a certain way of cooking. And then if you were to use stainless steel or um, not cast iron, something like that, you just have to figure out how to work differently. So um, I had bought this well-loved, like most of the staining was there when I got it because I bought it online and 
I'll, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite places to buy Le Creuset. Um, if you go to shopgoodwill.com, find a lot of like Le Creuset. There's always Le Creuset pieces there. Depending on who is pricing it, the prices can be outrageous. The prices can be a bargain, but um, it's an auction type setting. So you never really know what it's going to sell for until the very end. So what happens with Go Goodwills across the country? Um, and I don't know if I mentioned, but I, I actually bought this red one at a Goodwill. But at some point, they were selling Le Creuset in the stores. Um, and if they were smart, they were marking it up. If they weren't aware of what it was, you know, you could get it for normal pricing. Um, but at one point, they must have realized nationwide they could get a lot more if they um, had all of that online. So now they have all of their, like, collectible pieces on shopgoodwill.com. And um, even with the cost of shipping, sometimes it's a really good deal. I want to say I paid about $30 to $35 for this guy. For a long time, I was using it um, for eggs and for potatoes in the morning. Um, I also make a dish with rice and eggs for breakfast sometimes, so I was using it for that. Um, but like I said, it just wasn't the easiest to use for nonstick and cleanup. I absolutely love the color. I think it's... No wonder, you know, this has lasted the, te the test of time and Le Creuset uses it as its signature color. Um, it's still in good condition. It's I still would use it. I just have other pans that work better for me. So right now it's more of a display piece, but I might try to figure out if I can clean this. One concern with, with Le Creuset is you never want to clean it in a way that the enamel will the colored enamel will come off. So you, there's a balance between, can I live with these spots or um, if I don't want to damage the enamel. So maybe I'll use this one day for you know an investigation of how we can do this. But this is the third piece I'm showing you. This one is from shopgoodwill.com, like I said. And it's just a classic nonstick cast iron skillet. Next on the rainbow is yellow. And this is one of the, this is the first piece that I'm showing you that I actually bought from Um, I just looked it up. So I bought this a couple of years ago and it was actually notated in um, the receipt online that it was a factory to table sale that they had on the website. And I didn't know that at the time, but it makes sense now because these are generally, I think about $50 for a bread or loaf pan and I got it for 25 and after COVID quarantine started in about March 2020 I got into like many of us baking bread so I was baking bread all the time and looking for an excuse to get another loaf pan so this is my first yellow one um it's my only Le Creuset loaf pan I usually use Pyrex glass ones to be honest they're just easier to see the color of the loaf on the bottom but I absolutely love this one. It makes me so happy um, when I bake it, when I bake bread in it. I don't know, I just love the color. I love the gradation. Um, and this color is called soleil, which is the French word for sun. Um, I will say, let's see, what's different about this? Compared to my other loaf pans, it's a little narrower. So if you use the same amount of dough, it will be a taller loaf, which is not a big deal. Like that's just preference if you want a taller loaf or if you want a wider loaf. The handles are not the easiest for manipulating, especially because if you think about it, you're taking this in and out of the oven with oven mitts. The handles could be a little bit bigger. I generally use like a cookie sheet underneath this so then I can lift the cookie sheet out. It's just easier to do with oven mitts. Um, and you can see it does get discoloration even though it's clean, unless this this is um, it's a ceramic, it's a coated ceramic. So it's non-stick, but it still does kind of accumulate some marks that's probably from the nonstick spray that then gets baked on. It's clean, but it doesn't always come out, you know, spotless. This one, because I don't use it for much besides bread, it doesn't have a lot of spots there. And um, there is the notation on the bottom. So that's the only, interestingly, that is the only notation for these guys. There's no like Le Creuset on the handle or anything. Um, You'll see another piece that I have like that. So also along those lines in the yellow family, I have the color Nectar. So what this is, is a honey jar that I got on eBay. So um, when Le Creuset sells this, they sell it with a lid. And then I think there's an indent in the lid 
that you then can use one of those honeycomb, one of those honeycomb spoons, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so this does not have that, but actually um, I was gonna just use it as a bud vase. I love, love, love bees. I'm sure you'll see in other videos or blog posts why I associate bees with France and my time in Paris. So I love them. And so I saw this on eBay and it was going for a really good price because it's not a complete set. And I was just like, I love it completely as is. It also reminds me kind of like Winnie the Pooh because it's a quintessential honey pot. Um, and this is in the color called Dijon. And I don't know if you can see that. There's still a little bit of the tag left on there. So, um, yep, and it comes, like I said, with a silicone honey dipper. So this is Dijon Yellow, which is another color um, in the Le Creuset line. And I will put it next to Soleil. So you can kind of see Soleil is much more of a true bright sunny yellow. Dijon is more golden, more honey-ish. And this, like I said, is just for decorative purposes. You could probably use it as a baker, um, put something in there, but it, I don't think that's necessary. I just, I think it's so cute. And then finally in the yellows, I think this is a different color, but I did not buy this um, from the store and the tag is now gone. I bought this on Facebook Marketplace. So that's another place that you can buy these items is Facebook Marketplace. A lot of times people buy them because you hear about Le Creuset, but they aren't ready to really commit to learning a new way of cooking, like with a cast iron skillet, or um, they take up a lot of space, or they're just not using them as much as they thought. And so Facebook Marketplace is a great way to get them taken away locally. I bought this from someone who was moving and I bought it for $10. So this was a great deal. I think my honey pot that I bought, if I hadn't mentioned, I think this was about $10, no, $15 probably shipped. Um, whereas this guy was $10 and I picked it up from a home near me. Oh, here you can see it says, I don't know if you can see, it says Le Creuset on the handle for the kettle. And this is what's considered like a whistling teapot or a whistling tea kettle. You fill it up with water you put it on the stove and then um, it will whistle through the spout like a normal tea kettle. I actually don't use these. I um, grew up with my mom using these tea kettles and it would drive me insane. This is just something about my personality. It would drive me insane. She would put the kettle on the stove and then she would like go in the backyard or go somewhere basically where she couldn't hear it. And then it would whistle for, for very loudly to tell you that it's done and she'd be nowhere to be found. So I was finding myself always um, turning the stove off and then looking for my mom because her water was ready. And I don't know if it's that. I also, um, when I studied abroad in France, my roommates had an electric tea kettle, which is much more common in Europe because it takes, I mean, a tea kettle on the stove takes a long time to heat up. So ever since I was in my early 20s, I've always had an electric tea kettle. Those just work better for me. So this I only use for uh, d decoration, um, but it's so pretty. And I want to say, like I said, I'm not sure, but looking at these two together, it's very similar to Dijon, but I actually think this is the color Nectar. So because it's slightly a different gradient and um, it has a lot of writing on the bottom but it's just, I don't think it was used very much by the previous owner, um, but it's just really pretty and a, obviously a statement piece. And I just, I don't wear a lot of yellow, but yellow is such a happy color. So I love having the three in my collection. Next on our color, our rainbow of colors are the greens. So I have two Le Creuset in this same color green. Now this cup, I bought maybe 10 years ago in a store, in a kitchen store, and it was on sale. So the color was being discontinued and I've tried and tried and tried and I cannot figure out what color this might be. I want to say it was like green apple, bum, like pomme vert or something, but I can't confirm that. So um, in any case, I'll just show you. This was the first Le Creuset mug I ever got. My birthstone is Peridot, I'm an August baby. So even though 
you'll see green is not my favorite color of Le Creuset. Because I basically needed an excuse to buy this, even though it wasn't my kitchen color, I kind of said, oh, well, it's my birthstone color. And so this actually probably is what's to thank of my kind of rainbow adventure, because um, before this, I had never had any color outside of my main color of Le Creuset. And this kind of gave me the excuse to um, add to my collection and start branching out to different colors. So like I said, I want to say this was a green apple color that is now discontinued. Um, it's their large, it's it's um, kind of like a normal standard size mug. You'll see I have some other mugs that are slightly smaller, but it's a great, this is like the perfect classic size for when you're having your coffee or tea or whatever. Um, it has, it's interestingly, I'm just looking at it now, like this is not how Le Creuset normally looks. It has like this white writing on it and then it says made in China. I don't know. But the mugs have Le Creuset on the base of the mug. And that's where it's notated there. In the same color um, is another Facebook marketplace of buy. This is the large utensil crock. I think these sell for about $50, but I got mine for $10. And um, it's, that, it's the exact same green color. The only difference is this one is not gradiated, whereas this guy is. So you can kind of see how over time Le Creuset does different things. Um, it is 2.3 liters or almost three quarts. You could probably bake stuff in here. I'm not sure. It's very obviously just kind of something that you put on the table for your spatulas and your wooden spoons. I actually use it because I have um, another crock for utensils. I actually use it for markers. Um, it's a good height for markers and pens and I put it on my work desk. So I just like to integrate these as decor when I can, if and when I can. So there is my second one in that green color. Then I have two pieces in another green color, which is um, slightly darker and more muted, I would say. Um, I'm not sure, this might be the sage color. This was a purchase, it's a set. And that's a purchase that I made on Shop Goodwill again. I want to say this was just under $100. At this point, I was sure that I really, really liked this um, ceramic coated cast iron. And so this set came up and I grabbed it. It's super useful. We use this all the time. Now, what this is, it, it's two separate things, but you're also apparently supposed to use this guy as the lid, which works. But it's just, for me, it's very clumsy. It's called the multifunction set, I think. To me, it just doesn't make sense to do this. I have um, some like, some pot covers that you can use instead. So that's what I use when I do this. It's really, it's really um, bulky to try to do this, but if you, needed to make, if you needed to make a good seal and you really wanted to use it like it's supposed to do, it's absolutely doable. Um, to me, I just use them as completely separate pieces. But this was a really important purchase for me because at the time I was getting rid of two kind of traditional nonstick pans that we're used to. And um, I decided I was so sick and tired of buying nonstick. I, I was always careful. I would always use silicone um, spatulas or wooden spoons and it doesn't matter if they get scratched up. And so I decided I definitely wanted a ceramic Le Creuset pot because this size is so important. My husband uses it when he makes macaroni and cheese. You can use it to make a little bit of soup or sauce or something like that. And this is what I wanted and I found it on Shop Goodwill so I got the set. And I use this guy all the time for eggs. Um, these are my favorite like go-to egg pans. So there's this story of this guy. Um, definitely most used. Not my favorite color of the bunch but it adds to my Rainbow of Le Creuset. And for these ones, let's see. This little handle, I mean, is a throwaway. Like this, it's very comfortable. If you were filling it with water and carrying it over, it's very comfortable to use that. You can see it kind of just fits your thumb. But if it's hot, I mean, it's basically the pot. It's going to be hot. So this says Le Creuset made in France on the bottom with the number 22. And this says Le Creuset on the handle. So there's that. Okay, so now it's time to bring out the heavy hitters of my collection. 
the first pieces and what really got me in love with Le Creuset was the color Caribbean. So um, over time, there's been a couple of teal colors. Teal has always been one of my favorite colors. My senior prom dress was actually like a deep, deep teal. And then when I was engaged, not even married yet, I knew that I wanted teal to kind of be my accent color in my kitchen. And another thing about me is I grew up in upstate New York, close to the Woodbury Common Premium Outlets. So if you're ever in the area, it's a great place to go for some really good deals. They used to be a lot better when I was younger and didn't have money or a reason to buy these things. But um, it was a true outlet store at the time. So growing up, we'd always go there. I always loved Le Creuset because I knew it was French and I knew it was like heritage cookware. So the first pieces I ever bought from Le Creuset was in 2009 before I got married because I was, knew I was like buying things for my future home and it was in the color Caribbean and so that's what kind of tied me to that color. I still love it and that's been almost 15 years ago. I still love Caribbean. It's still perfect for me as my kitchen accent color. Um, this was not one of the first pieces I bought. It took me a long time to think okay maybe there's some worth to that you know crazy prices of Le Creuset. I got this on Wayfair.com. It is a sauteuse. I think it's about three and a half quarts. Um, so I knew that I didn't want the traditional kind of really deep stock pot or um, just one of the bigger things. I wanted something because it was me and my husband and at the time it was my son. So we were three people. I would make soups and meals in like a big pot and then I would always have extras so I was like um you know this will kind of keep me from having all those leftovers and it was on Wayfair.com so it was on a discount I paid about $180 for this and I agonized like I agonized about that decision until it came and I was just like I should have done this years ago so this was really the turning point for bringing on a lot of the ceramic coated cast iron which is now primarily what I use. It's what I use to make my eggs. It's what we use to make our, you know, spaghetti and pasta sauce. I use this for deep frying. I use this for soup all the time. Like finally biting the bullet and paying $180 for this pot, I realized I will have this forever because unless it, I drop it or something, it's, it's such a workhorse. And really like, I, I always recommend people start with the ceramic coating because it's more like a traditional nonstick that we're used to. And I feel like when you do, when you get a good pan or a good pot in this, like you realize where we should not be wasting our money on traditional nonstick or pots that and pans that you buy at Target. It's just, this is so much better in my opinion. It's very heavy, you know, it does require some care. It does still kind of make me nervous when I'm washing it, you know, to make sure that nothing happens or I don't accidentally drop it. I wouldn't let like my kids wash it. I generally don't even let my husband watch it, wash it. Um, but it's, it's definitely just worth it for me. And it's so beautiful. And Caribbean, one of the reasons I love it is because I think the, the gradation, the gradient of colors looks so good on it. So this is the pot lid. I didn't do anything with the knob. I know you can change the knobs out, but it just says Le Creuset and it has like some Markings there, size 24, France. Here is um, the bottom, 3.4 liters, three and a half quarts. Um, all of this coloration and discoloration has come from me. This is one that I brought, bought brand new. I don't have a lot that I bought brand new, but this is one and I love it and I love using it. And it's just it's a lot of great things in our house. Another piece of Caribbean colored is this mug. So it's the exact same mug as my green one, but in Caribbean. And I had a lot of Caribbean stuff for a long time and it took me a while to buy this. This is actually probably my second to last re most recent purchase. Um, finally, I was buying something else and I was just like, I, why don't I have this mug? Let's buy this mug. So I added it to my cart and um, they're about like 15 to $20, I think regular price. So for me, they're totally worth it. I love them. They make me happy. Like, I think that's something that's really important to me in my home is to have things that make me smile and make me feel good. And so Le Creuset for me and the colors and using them in everyday life is really important. I bought this alongside this little guy. So it's a spoon rest in Caribbean. This was something that I bought together. 
and I use this a lot. I mean, spoon rests to me are a must. I don't know how anyone cooks without them. So these I use all the time and people love this mug. I will say that. <laughs> a lot of times when I have company, they use that mug, so I can't use it. Um, I cannot find its partner. And I don't know if you can see Le Creuset, but this is a little um, coaster. It's a little coaster or hot pad set. So what you can do with this is you can hold it like this and you can hold, pick up your handles when they're hot. You can use it as a coaster to put a mug on it. What I find I use it as is super bizarre. Our, we have an air popper for our popcorn and it has a hole on top where you're supposed to put this little this little an, an additional plastic piece on top and it keeps it closed so that they, the popcorn can pop but it also like melts your butter well we lost that a long time ago so this just covers the hole so that the popcorn doesn't come out that's what we use it most for but um it's a little bit too small for me to feel really secure in grabbing something or picking up a lid with it but i think that's generally what it's for i guess it's also oops it's also one of those multifunctional things where you can like open a jar with it. So the trivet and the spoon rest and the Caribbean mug I bought all from lecruze.com. I think the last time I looked at the website, it's free shipping over like $100. But at one point it was just free shipping across the board. So I would buy smaller purchases like that and like my $25 bread pan and they would be shipped to me for free. So it was a great deal. Um, whenever they had sales like that, especially. This is another place where I've bought Le Creuset from and it is a consignment store near me. So I've bought things at Goodwill in store. I've bought things on shopgoodwill.com. This is a local consignment shop had this and it was never used. And what it was, I knew exactly what it was. My husband had no idea, but it's a butter crock. One of the traditional French ways, I don't know if French people actually do this nowadays, I should ask, um, to have their butter out at room temperature but staying fresh because you can put butter out but it can spoil so there's it's gotta you gotta say okay what do I do to keep it fresh but not have to have it in the fridge so this is what Le Creuset does and what a traditional way of doing it is so you put a small amount of fr clean fresh water on the bottom and then you put your softened butter, butter on the top and it holds about a stick of butter and it just keeps it soft. You have to change the water out every couple of days, but it's perfect. So this gets used a ton in my house. Um, I'm not sure what the original price is, but I paid about $15 for it from the consignment shop and it came in the box and everything had never been used. And I love this and I think it's so special and I'm so lucky that it's in my kitchen color because I'll show a little clip at the end um, to show you kind of how these all line up. And I don't know, it looks perfect, it makes me happy. Alongside my butter crock goes my small utensil crock. So this is one size of utensil crock. This is the larger size. This is in Caribbean and goes perfectly well with the other two pieces I'm gonna show you. This and those two pieces that are coming up were the first purchases I ever made from Le Creuset. They came from the Woodbury Commons outlet store and it was in 2009 before I got married and I knew I wanted these for my kitchen. So I was like, what are the basics I need? One was a utensil crock. And so, oops, this one actually still has the sticker on it. And it was, it says it's a $30 suggested price, but the outlet price was $27. So I will have to look up how much these sell for nowadays. Um, but let's see, there's Le Creuset right there along the band. Um, and these were made in China because they're just the ceramic, the glazed ceramic. Next up are 100% my most used Le Creuset pieces, most used, most loved, most worn out uh, Le Creuset pieces. And they are these canisters, two sizes of canisters that I use for my flour and my sugar. So these are always out on my countertop next to my stove. Um, I bought these in addition to that Caribbean color utensil crock at the outlet before I got married and I've been using them in my kitchens forever. Um, I'm not sure. This is called small canister. Oh, and this is actually, the sticker still says made in Thailand. So these were made outside of France, but outside of China as well. Um, this holds a good amount of flour. I saw them at the store. They were with a couple of other sizes of canisters and I don't know if they're supposed to be used for canisters. I assume that they are by a lot of people, but this is the perfect 
size for holding flour. It has a silicone lid to kind of keep it sealed. Um, and then, so I use the flour the most. I am into baking a lot. This is most used and loved by my husband, the sugar, because he puts sugar in his coffee every morning. And it, like I said, there, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there's a little silicone kind of gripper to keep it sealed. Now, unfortunately, both of these, we have moved a lot. My husband and I have moved a lot in our marriage. And um, both of them, the little knobs have come off before. I will say, though, they come off cleanly. And I've super glued them both. This one you can see a little better. I did it a little better. And this is probably after 10 years of use that it broke off. And it's been super glued and have had no issues. You just use like clear super glue. This one broke a lot sooner, maybe in a couple years of use. And um, we did hot glue on this one. So you can actually see the ridge of hot glue. But because it's fairly clear um, and it's smooth, I don't think it's noticeable. So I still use it. This has withstood about 10 years of being super glued. So I would say that's a win as well. Um, and like I said, like these are a staple of my kitchen. Everyone who's been in my kitchen has seen these and, and marked on them and um, they just go so well. And I'll show you that little clip. I think... I think I've shown you all my Caribbean pieces now. Staying in the same blue color. This is another Facebook Marketplace find. It's a square baking dish. Um, here's the number that it says on the bottom. I actually had a glass, Pyrex glass dish that I bought from Woodbury Commons the same day that I bought these. I bought two Pyrex baking dishes in purple because I was like, oh, I'll never find purple again. And I used them forever and I, about 10 years in, the square one broke, it shattered. And so about the same day or the day after, I was looking at Facebook Marketplace for something to replace it with, and I found this one, and this was a $10 bargain find. And I use this a lot. Similar to the red one, it's got these ridged handles, but these are bigger. So this is definitely something that you could put in the oven and use with your oven mitts to pull it in and out. Again, with these guys, what I would always recommend is just putting them on a cookie dish. It's not very thick, so you you know you don't want to put your oven mitt in your dish or grab it on the very edge and then potentially drop it. So there is that one. It's a beautiful sky blue without a gradient. I love this one. And then another blue is this really vintage one. Um, it's so vintage, it doesn't even say Le Creuset anywhere. So it's not on the handle, it's not on the bottom, but it is Le Creuset. It's before they started marking everything. So there's a little bit of a C that you can see there. So it is a vintage Le Creuset piece that was hardly used before I got it. Um, or if it was used, it was taken really good care of. I got this one on shopgoodwill.com around the same time that I got that two set of the green pot and skillet. And again, this is a workhorse for my eggs um, in the morning. And it is, um, I think I probably got it for about $30, $40. I would say definitely a good deal. It is kind of weird to think about how old it is, but it's obviously been well taken care of and there's no real issues with it. So I'm gonna keep using it. So now we're out of the blues. Let's go into the purple. Um, I do, one of my missing pieces is a purple water pitcher that was a deep purple. And when I was setting up that rainbow thing in the hutch in my dining room, I was going crazy looking for it because I couldn't find it. And so then eventually I just had to declare defeat and I purchased something in purple off of eBay. So I spent probably more than I would have, but I needed something in purple and I wanted something different than all the other pieces I had in display. So I got this little egg dish. So this is a six cavity egg dish in a light, light purple with the really pretty gradation. And then it says Le Creuset on the little handles. Um, it's a nice size, like it's a nice, nice weight to it. Not too heavy, um, but not flimsy. 
if you use these for eggs, I mean, that would look so nice in the actual refrigerator, but we always have like two 18 packs of eggs. So actually using this for function was not gonna happen. I really like it as the addition to my Le Creuset rainbow though, as the purple. I still hold out hope that I'll find my purple pitcher, but for now, this has my heart. I think I paid about $25 for it. So um, $25 for something that's just decorative. I mean, we pay, I guess we pay for decorations all the time. So there is my one and only purple that I can find right now. Okay, now I probably could have done pink earlier when I did red, but I forgot about it. This is one of my newest additions. So I went to Home Goods not that long ago and I found a bunch of seconds, so Le Creuset seconds um, pieces, and this was one of them. So I got actually three different mugs that I'll show you in quick succession. This is the color Shell Pink, and there is, I'm gonna do a separate video on the imperfections on these guys because it was clearly marked on the bottom, second choice. But this was $5.99, and $5.99 for a mug that looks like this is Le Creuset. It's slightly smaller than the traditional one. And the handle's not as secure in your hand because you can't get as many fingers in there. It's really a two finger hang handle, but I still love it. I mean, if I'm, if I'm having a lazy day where I'm not like gulping down my coffee or if I want tea at the end of the day, this is the perfect size. And this, I just was excited to add this really pretty color to my collection. So this color is shell pink and, um, I think it originally, like if you were to buy it in the store, it's like $14, but I got it for $6 and it's so pretty. Here are the other two mugs that I bought at the same time. Each was $6, each retails for $14, but these are second, like seconds. So they're not the best quality. They're not considered the top quality that can be paid, that can be bought for full price. So generally this is something that would go to the outlet or like a resale store. So. These, I should have shown this around the time I showed my Caribbean colors, but it was in the drying rack drying. So, <laughs> but this is the color dark teal and I will hold it up next to Caribbean so you can see. So this is dark teal next to Caribbean. You can see the gradation as well, the light to dark on both, but it's um, definitely more subtle on the deep teal. No, it's called deep teal when it goes light to dark. love this color this is like my prom dress color that deep teal this one i think is beautiful too this is called cloud gray each of them like i said i'll do a video on the imperfections i found they're still really great i mean if this is a second rate like if this is like a second tier i would say definitely i would even almost gift this i don't think i'd have a problem gifting this it's really pretty so my new additions, but all three are new colors to my collection, which is really cool. I've gone through the rainbow and shown you a couple colors that were out of order. So now I'm gonna show you my white pieces. I have a black piece and a brown piece. My two white pieces, one is really special. So this is a special edition Paris collection mug. So it is the same size mug as the traditional one. Um, but it's definitely different. So it's in the color white or blanc, I think is what Le Creuset calls it. Um, yeah, but it has a special decoration. So it's a Le Creuset pot in red and it's a little girl. And then it has Le Creuset really pretty there. I, I like how the name looks on the white. And then on the inside, there's a little Eiffel Tower. I use this one all the time. This is well loved. Um, my guests like it as well. Like it's definitely, you can see some scraping in there from the spoon. Um, it's just so special. Like I just had to buy this when I saw it, even though the Eiffel Tower is really tiny. Where is it? There it is. But um, I think it is an homage to the red balloon. So there's a famous French movie called Le Ballon Rouge. And so I think it's an homage to that, but obviously I love Le Creuset. So um, this is just really special and cool and just I have Eiffel Towers all over my house so this is just another one of them. Also in the color blanc or white are my salt and pepper shakers. These were a wedding gift so they're quite old. I don't use them though. Every time I try to use them they just they're not functional. Right now I have two little kids and first of all like 
they have to be able to grip this and then twist it. Um, but second of all, like it comes out too fast or they'll probably toss it one day. I am not sure what they're made of. I wish I knew what they're made of. Maybe some kind of acrylic. They look and feel almost wooden, but they're not. I think they must be acrylic, but they have Le Creuset kind of embossed and then the tops say S and P, but obviously classy, pretty. They kind of remind me of chess pieces, but I'm glad to have them, even though I don't use them very much. Okay, two more pieces and then we're done. So I'm going to show you this vintage sauce pot now. Um, so around the time that I was getting rid of my larger sauce pot, and like I said, I needed the green one to replace. I also got this guy, I think also on shopgoodwill.com. So it is a small sauce pot with a lid. This one says 14 on the lid, 14 on the bottom. It reminds me of a camping set like this little guy I think this is a handle to be able to hang it off of something and I know it's vintage but just this wooden piece like it it just looks very rustic to me I have no idea what the color is um it is ceramic non-coated ceramic on the bottom it's starting to wear in a little bit of places and I know when this becomes more prominent it's dangerous like if it's chipping on the inside and you can start to see the cast iron you really shouldn't use it um this was, I bought secondhand, so I wouldn't expect Le Creuset to replace it. I don't even know what year this would have been from. Um, so I'll just use it until I don't feel comfortable using it anymore, if that time comes. But it's always handy to have this ceramic. This ceramic is a game changer. Like this coated ceramic cast iron is easy to clean, great conductor of heat, durable, pretty. Like the outside is so pretty. So this is really like a no-brainer to me. I would never... Um, hesitate unless you have like way too many things already I would never hesitate to add some of the ceramic coated cast iron to your collection finally is another Facebook marketplace purchase this is um, the same size as the red skillet the first one I showed you so here's your traditional red skillet this is a in the in a color black it's just black with no gradation but it's the grill pan um, kind of annoying to clean things just get really stuck on I, I don't know if I've mastered honestly the cast iron how to cook on cast iron but it's great for grilling things like it's super useful um, you can also grill and then throw it in the oven in this so this shape is great it's super heavy I mean super substantial but um, another kind of lifetime piece if I can figure out how to use that cast iron coating. Um, Le Creuset on the handle, just like the red one. Size 30. Really, really durable, big piece. All right, and I can't believe I almost forgot. This is one of my most used Le Creuset pieces. It's made out of walnut wood and it is a rice paddle. So we use a rice cooker in my house to cook rice and uh, depending on kind of what phase of eating we're going through, sometimes we eat a lot of rice, sometimes we don't. But when we do, this is so helpful. I just love that it's Le Creuset. It's very prominently listed there. And it's a really pretty like golden color. And you're going to buy a rice paddle anyway. So why not have Le Creuset? So that's my thought on that. So there are all my Le Creuset pieces in my collection that I have on my hands. Like I said, I think I'm missing about three. Um, and for sure, I will always be adding more. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Feel free to subscribe and follow along for more kind of ways to bring France home with you. But also the main point of my channel is to help you plan your next trip to France. So make sure you stick around and let's have fun together on this journey. Thank you.